y'all thank you for tuning in my name is ayoka and i'm getting ready to bring you your libra reading so sun moon rising in libra what's up if you are libra lover hey <laughs> thank you guys for tuning in i definitely appreciate y'all support i gotta laugh okay um i may be being a little silly but i have been having some tower moments okay but my virgo reading just read the hell up all out of me okay so um, if you all got Virgo in your moon, your rising, check it out. Or if you're connected to someone who's a Virgo, you definitely want to check that out, okay? Um, let me set my intentions. Y'all know how this goes, but I'm going to say it anyway because sometimes new folk tune in and not really sure how the process goes. But overall, use the spirit of discernment, all right? Because everything in this message may not be yours, okay? Um, I am speaking to a collective of folk. Um, but, yep, take what you need, leave what you don't need, all right? Make sure you're vibing high because I need you to be rejoicing and celebrating Libra. Why? Because you try to manifest this bomb ass life, okay? Um, and you got to be a, a vibrational match to that. So your frequency should be matching that of the universe, Libra, okay? Um, that's why I do these readings to help get you there, all right? If you're feeling triggered, definitely check in with your higher self and see what that's about. But let me set my intentions and then I'm going to dive right in. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my angelic guys, for helping me with this collective reading for Libra. Thank you for watching over us, keeping us, protecting us as we go through the spiritual gates to commune with you. I also ask that you uh, block all energies that are karmic, trying to come through to interfere with this reading or even attack my 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 um, collective as well. Thank you for using me as a messenger, speaking through me loud and clearly, and so it is. All right, so I'm jumping right in. Don't forget get the like subscribe and share also um if you want a personal reading i do keep my website in the detail box below all right thank you show me what i need to see for libra what is libra's energy what are my libras feeling Ooh. oh you letting your defenses down libra okay the hostility card something here that you were hostile about something here that you were dissatisfied about <laughs> on top of that all right because the envy card comes out so you were dissatisfied or even that could be jealousy whichever way it falls for you but now you're starting to let your guards down here and you're not so defensive about it okay so let's see show me what i need to see here anything else mm, let me do that again because i don't know how that felt did it come out again it's just needed thank you yeah so you're not able to communicate it though that's the thing okay with the um Fifth chakra in a reverse position. That's your throat chakra. So you're having trouble communicating this. Um, but the drama, you letting it pass on by. Okay. So it, it's been going on around you, stopping you from being able to move forward. But it seems to me here, it's like, okay, let me release myself from this drama. All right. Um, because it could be me that's making me feel oppressive here. But you're still not really able to communicate something here. So we're going to find out what that's about. All right. So I'm going to jump right into my tarot. I use my energy oracle deck, so I'm going into my light seer tarot now. Tell me about the hostility in reverse. Do I got all the cards together? Okay, hostility in reverse. Okay. It's like a whole glob of cards coming out at the same time. <clears throat> Temperance. <clears throat> And this two cards stuck to each other, so I got temperance and I got judgment. All right, so basically, this requires some patience, okay? It definitely does, um, but that's about peace, too, as well. So what I'm saying here is, like, you're now probably more in this energy where you're, I don't want to say withdrawn, but you're evaluating, okay, with the judgment card. So you're taking this time to reflect, all right, and that's what's bringing the, the peace or the balance into your situation right now, okay? So the judgment is good, right? Because you always got to definitely check and see, check in with yourself to see like, okay, what's happening here, right? Is it me or is it this situation? Tell me about the envy card. What's the envy about? <clears throat> All right, so the thing is with the strength card coming out, Okay, so you may have had some type of self-doubt, right? But it's in the uh, right now. So now you're starting to get some type of confidence here um, going on. With the Five of Pentacles that came out, you experienced something, okay? It could have been some type of hardship, some type of loss, illness, poverty, whatever this may be, right? You are going through something and it feels like, you know, 
is making you feel not too confident. And that may be where the, the lack of satisfaction, why you're dissatisfied or why the jealousy may be there, right? Because you got a lot going on. It seems like hey, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, I'm juggling this, I'm juggling that. And I'm still experiencing these hardships, right? I'm still going through, okay? Now, of course, that's good. The energy shifting, but it's still something here that you need to speak about. You got to speak your honest to God truth. Tell me about this fifth chakra in the reverse. Tell me about the fifth chakra in the reverse. Why is this in the reverse for Libra? Emperor in the reverse. Okay, so you're not showing your emotions about this at all. All right, so you could be being freaking stubborn. That's what I'm seeing <laughs> with this uh, Emperor in the reverse. I'm not going to necessarily say that you're not stable or you lack the discipline. It could be some type of stubbornness that's there that's making you feel very discontent. Okay, show me what I need to see here with the Emperor in the reverse. What is not being said? Knight of Swords. You got to assert yourself. Okay, this is about your goal. So overall, if you want to overcome certain challenges, it's going to require you here to speak your truth, right? You got to, um, you may have a block in your throat chakra. Do I got it in my bra? Sorry, y'all. I hate to do that, but I keep it near me. So it's pyrite, right? And I keep that there. It helps to activate the throat chakra. Um, Cause sometimes I, I used to have trouble with communicating or speaking my truth or you know things like that, but now not so much. <laughs> but I've been having some issues here with my throat, so that's why I've been keeping it close. Um, show me what I need to see here. Mm -hmm. You're disappointed with this King of Cups in the reverse. You're overwhelmed. You're anxious. Okay, and you're disappointed being. 20, uh, I said 21 with the world card, you're looking to achieve something. Okay. Things are going to come full circle is what I'm saying, but you're trying to achieve your goals, whatever these milestones are, you're trying to reach. That's what it's about. And you're disappointed. So you're really not speaking much because of the disappointment. Thank you. Tell me about the all tied up card. <clears throat> Let me get the all tied up card in reverse. Mm. Eight of Swords. Same thing almost. Like, look like she tied up and restricted. Okay, so something he had you clouded in your judgment, maybe feeling restricted. But overall, it's like now you're releasing it. I feel like you may be trying to take some type of control here um, so that you can have a clear perspective over what's taking place. All right, so. If you still are feeling some type of dissatisfaction or envy in some kind of way, I'm also hearing to change that into appreciation, okay? Because it's going to be some certain changes or some type of progress or something quick, a quick decision that's going to be made here. You've been refusing to make the decision or not even say that. Let's just say it's been difficult for you, right? Having a hard time making this decision because you got... You stuck between two options here or two competing sides. It could be it. You may just be trying to be a peacemaker in something, right? Because you want the best outcome. Okay, but you may have to make a quick decision or you did make a quick decision here to, to see some type of progress. But whatever is happening, it's like you're going to have to make a decision to see some progress. Page of Swords. You have to communicate this. Whatever this may be, whatever your idea may be, if it's a legal matter, if it's um, something dealing on uh, um, agreement or offer, whatever that may be, this is going to require you to communicate this. And it's not going to be something where it's too emotional. Let's just put it that way. It's like you got to be with that page of swords. It got to be straightforward, right? Okay. It got to be like, this is what it is. This is what I need. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Three of Wands in the reverse. If those restrictions there, it keeps you scattered in your thinking. That's why the drama was there. All right. So really, I feel like maybe, you know how sometimes it's our own anxiety that keeps us tied up? I feel like, yep, Five of Swords. Whatever the tension is or whatever the conflict is, you're now 
realizing it's like I gotta release that. If you haven't, you need to. Okay. <clears throat> because when it comes to what you're planning in your future, and in order for you to be successful of that, you know, it is it's gonna be you that will keep you from being able to move forward here. Thank you. Show me what I need to see. Man, activate that throat chakra. You got to be out this mug singing. <laughs> okay, sing it. <laughs> and don't care who approves. All right, and now that I think about it, Libra, I think I did a reading for y'all saying that. Show me what I need to see. The Libra. <clears throat> I got to get something to drink. I'm drying out. And this is what happens, y'all. I get so dry and I try to keep staying hydrated because reading will literally dehydrate you. Tapping into these energies and I get so dry, it messes with my throat. My throat feels itchy. It's the worst. Worst, worst, worst. I'm trying to figure it out. You know what? I need to just ask, right? <laughs> ask my spirit team. Like, look, help me out with this. What I need to do. Partnerships and alliances. Okay, so you're going to see the fruits of your labor. It's going to take fruit. Let me tell you, it's blossoming down. Okay, um, you got some more to do. But guess what? Watch out for the synchronicities. Um, it's going to bring you some opportunities here. Okay, so you're going to be able to form certain connections, um, connections and unexpected alliances um, within your situation here. Just because what? You're planting these seeds. It's going to blossom. Trust me, you got to speak. You got to speak up. This envy, that should turn to appreciation. You don't feel grounded with this base chakra card. Okay? You got to get grounded or rooted here. Okay? Because that's what makes you not feel safe or stable within your situations. Okay? So, throat chakra and root chakra. Okay? It's two things <laughs> that you may want to look into. Um, guided meditation, yoga, acupuncture, Reiki, breathing exercises, affirmations, prayer. Okay? Hope. <laughs> Look, my spirit ain't right with me. Hope. Don't forget that. Have faith. Stay optimistic here. Move on from the past. Leave the past behind you. You got a difficult cycle was coming to an end for you. And really being stuck to that will slow up the progress, right? Thank you. Show me what I need to see here. Anything else from this deck? <laughs> Look, throat chakra again. It's just, it's clear as day. You just, look, things will change when you start speaking your truth. Let me read the throat chakra card to you in the reverse. One second, 39. This card reverse often indicates significant blocks in the throat center. Something in your history may have caused you to shut down, but it's important now to break through the unhealthy pattern. Or you may currently be in a situation where you're, where the free sharing of ideas, opinions, or feelings is being thwarted. In addition to the fear of self-expression, this card reverse could indicate physical throat problems. As all the chakra cards reverse may signal difficulties in the area of the body, the physical trouble may be connected to the block energy in that chakra. So it's all the more important to work on clearing the energy in the center involved. Okay. To clear the throat chakra, call upon Gabriel, Gabriel and meditate on his power blessing through any blocks. See your throat center spinning in a beautiful blue light. Muster up the courage to speak your truth to yourself. And see those around you, it's time to let go of any old fear of confrontation and stand up for yourself from now on. Wow. Y'all heard it. Okay, you heard it. We ain't coming for you. But spirit, my spirit theme is like stand up for yourself, speak your truth. Okay, this is about your own self-expression here. Look, I, when I said that um, about, you know, see the blue light spinning, I was doing it for myself because something definitely has been trying to attack my throat chakra, okay? Keep me from speaking to y'all. I can see what's going on. Because it only happens when I start to talk. <clears throat> and I'm getting that irritation again. <clears throat> Show me what I need to see here. Believe me. <clears throat> Come on, 
Ne, be be bold and make the first move. <coughs> what are they making the first move? <laughs> what is this card referencing? Three of Wands. Yeah, because you keep wondering which way you should go. You got a lot of support, okay? With those wands, those wands represent support. It could be three people around you. That's your ride or daughters, right? Ride or dies. It don't matter. It could be community. It could be network. It could be parents. Whatever it is. Whatever those wands are, angelic forces. You got support, okay? So you can make this decision. You've been working. You've been working, working, okay? Let me tell you. And your hard work is being acknowledged is what I see with this. You're doing a wonderful job. But it's going to require you here to just go ahead and step up and make some moves here. It may require you to do it first, okay? Because somebody may not do it. King of Wands, yeah. Get it done, nah. King of Wands takes action. King of Wands, the King of Wands goes after their goals, right? And pursue them like, eh. but don't be, don't be reckless about it. Because <laughs> the King of Wands can sometimes be very impulsive, but just, you know, get it done. Go after what you're trying to manifest here. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, because you may be worrying. You may be worrying about some type of issue. Whatever it is, it could be money because that's the Five of Pentacles. Don't have to be. But whatever it is, it's like you're worrying about some stuff here. You don't want to be left out in the cold. I, I feel you. Page of Pentacles. So you're ma you're trying to manifest this idea. And it could be centered around your money, Libra. Okay? But you can manifest this. You got all the tools underneath of your belt here. But what it's going to do, it's going to require you to take the first step. Okay? Be bold and just jump out there, babies. Yeah, page of wands. Stay inspired about what you're trying to manifest here. Be inspired. It, it requires your passion. Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> it, re it requires you literally to be confident, self-assured, to overcome these challenges, self-sufficient, all of that. That's where it's going to lead you to, too. Nine of Pentacles part woman is like, don't you don't have to be a woman, but just that Nine of Pentacles energy is abundant. Okay, and that's where we're all being called to be in our self-sufficiency, right? Not just about money. It's about releasing the codependencies as far as ego-based mindsets, you know, being all tied up, right? To anxiety, to fear, self-doubt, stuff like that. But the sun, because this is about your non this is about your um new beginning. So it's gonna require you to be in a state of joy to be positive, to be happy. Like all of that stuff comes in alignment with what you're trying to do here. Thank you. Show me what I need to see. I want to read something on that Be Bold, Make the First Move. Let me see if I see my book. Show me what I need to see here for Libra. Some of you are going through some type of breakup or separation, but whatever that is, it's like you got to put an X to that shit. Stop the patterns. Wow. Stop the pattern. Stop the addiction. Stop it. Stop the silent treatment. If you feel abandonment, cut the pattern off. That's where it starts at here. Yep, did that shit <laughs> with the coughing. Rest and rip RIP, okay, to the unhealthy patterns, behaviors, mindsets, whatever that may be. These endings is bringing you new beginnings. This is about your growth. Look, your happiness, your expansion, your oneness, your wholeness, creating paradise for yourself. Mm. <clears throat> no, I just see it. That's not working. <clears throat> Card no more. One of four. Now is the time to be bold, bossy, even. Take matters into your own hand. Cardinal signs are powerful and self-starting. They're determined and great at organizing. Drawing this card strongly suggests 
that you're going to need to be all those things to get your ideal resolution or position in a situation you're asking about. This card may challenge you on how strongly you really want something. If you're worrying about a situation, it's a suggestion to be less passive. Instead, take an assertive stance. As you steer events where you want them to go, speak up for what you want. If you're serious about sorting things out, you may need to take the lead in some way to step up as a leader. Check that out. That, that fifth chakra, throat chakra card spoke all of that. You're in charge of your destiny. Be bold and follow your heart in your emotions. Avoid recklessness and moving too fast as that King of Wands, right? King of Wands go get it. But I mean, they could be ruthless with that shit sometimes. So don't be impulsive. Don't be reckless about it and move too fast. But just come into your power because the time to take action is now. Okay? Now, <laughs> something new is starting and you possibly need to take the lead on it. Okay, this is this is just season Libra. I've been telling you that shit, we are in Libra season. This is about you right now, honeys. Take action, take authority over your stuff. Okay, speak your truth. The time is now. Come into your power now, Libra. Damn, that's gonna be the title of this video. So that was good. I'm gonna get right ended because or not, I'm gonna be on here coughing like a fool. Okay, I can feel it. It's it's building up inside of me. But Y'all, don't forget to hit the like button, um, subscribe button if you haven't, okay? And then I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.